obviously you're based in Kalgoorlie, which is a pretty regional town over there in Western Australia. So um, uh, pros and cons of living in a place like Kalgoorlie. So uh, it potentially is not for everybody, but what's, uh, how have you experienced living in a, a, a more regional place like Kalgoorlie? Yeah, so Kalgoorlie is um, is a very nice place to live. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I do enjoy small town living, you know, um, as I mentioned before. Like, it's really cool to be in the community and you sort of, um, I feel like you have a better connection with people as well. Um, and, um, yeah, so it's been really good. Um, obviously, um, Kalgoorlie is quite far from a lot of places. Um, and so, um, yeah, just, you know, travel sometimes is a bit of a challenge. And so we're six hours up from Perth. Um, so, you know, that's that's a little bit of a challenge. But um, otherwise, um, yeah, Kalgoorlie is nice. There's no traffic, which is great. <laughs> um, you, and you've got just, a Esperance, is that quite close or re like a weekend trip or...? Yeah, so you could go a weekend trip. So Esperance is about four hours away. Um, yeah. So, yeah, um, it's pretty, it's really lovely there. Um, but, yeah, it's just getting time to go down and, yeah, have a, have a good weekend there. Um, but, good. yeah. And you, um, cl client-wise, so um, you'd probably uh, see quite a variety, I imagine. So um, I guess that's one of the strengths of being in one of those more regional locations is you, you kind of see everything. So all your post-op orthopedic stuff, your private patients, your sports stuff, your NDIS patients, um, you sort of end up becoming a bit of a generalist, I guess. Is that, have you found that in, in Cal? Yes, very much. Um, you know, you get the, I suppose, the general um, low back pain, you know, the chronic issues, um, osteoarthritis. Um, so you get those sort of more common things. And then sport is really, really big in Kalgoorlie. And I have realized it just in Australia in general. Um, but, you know, being such a small town and there, you know, people play a lot of sport. Um, and so lots of sports injuries as well. But then, yes, like you mentioned, um, um, post-op um, kind of rehab, so ACLs, uh, rotator cuff repairs, um, those kind of patients. And then we also get a lot of um, work cover patients, um, you know, injury, um, work site injuries and those kind of things. And then we also see our fair few um, NDIS um, sort of rehab clients. Um, and then we also get the odd few um, DBA. So we really get a good mix of, of patients and just different areas and stuff, which is nice because you, you sort of get you able to experience those different things and then from there kind of decide what you like and what you you know prefer to treat and those kind of things but it gives you a really good um general idea of everything yeah good it's one of those things that we've sort of um i guess we plugged people earlier in their careers they they get a wide variety under their belt and sort of patient mileage in in different areas so that they can then just sort of decide where they want to develop so do you Knowing that, like, do you know now what, what what sort of area you want to develop or specialize into, or are you still pretty uh, open on that? Um, I'm still pretty happy seeing, you know, different kinds of patients. Um, I like the variety and sort of um, being able to treat different things. Um, but there are sort of a few things. There's been some interesting cases that have come along and I've gone, oh, OK, well, that's pretty that's pretty cool. Like I'd like to possibly know a little bit more about that or, you know, venture into that field a little bit more. Um, but at the moment, I'm, I'm pretty happy seeing whatever comes my way. Um, I do really enjoy um, sort of the lower limb um, rehab and, you know, um, return to sport and return to work and those kind of things. Um, and yeah, really enjoying working with like the NDIS patients as well. Um, yeah, with that like sort of more rehabby side. Um, yeah, it's really cool. It's, it's good. I, I found that with like NDIS clients, the, the regularity of being able to see people and seeing yeah. people for a longer period of time, you yeah. kind of really see results, which is quite rewarding. Yeah. Um, also, I, I've sort of found with those regional areas, like as you said, with sport, um, they kind of sort of hold those communities together a little bit. And um, you kind of feel that there'd be more sport in the cities, but um, there's loads of sport out in those regional areas. <laughs> I mean, and you see sort of uh, people twist their ankle in the morning or and then they come and see you in the afternoon. So you kind yes. of acute cases. Um, yeah. I mean, from where I'm from back in England, you, it's harder to see acute stuff like that um whereas um yeah it's 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 quite quite rewarding everybody seems to in regional areas um play sport and party at the weekend and that seems to be the sort of uh, routine of how the towns work yeah yeah very much <laughs>